What's up guys? Show Fuller with spiritual wealth. I got a microphone now. <laughs> Anyways, it's Monday, April 15th. Hope everybody's having an awesome day and I hope this actually makes a difference. Let me know. Leave a comment below. <clears throat> what I want to talk about today is um, lots of stuff. So we are going to actually start off with a deep breath. We want to connect at heart center. I hope everybody's having an awesome Monday. We got those taxes paid or those extensions made. We don't got to worry about none of that today. Hello. All right, let's go ahead and also start off. I'm going to do things backwards today. I'm going to start off with Cheryl's Secrets. So, Cheryl's Secrets. We are picking the... First one that comes out, <laughs> is it, uh, which one is it? Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Everybody, um, I think everybody probably knows that one. I just, I have that on my dream board and I like the way that it looked and turned out. And so um, I just stuck it in there. But let's just talk about that. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. So that's kind of where... Um, when we're uh, deliberately creating or manifesting, um, sometimes we can self-sabotage ourselves because, um, you know, we don't believe it or whatever and whatnot. So it's, it's really important to uh, believe and then you receive. So yeah, it's like we can conceive it, right? That's the easy part, <laughs> believe it. <laughs> so yeah, so that's... Um, stuff where you know if you're not holding it in the palm of your hands then you know you have some work on it and for me right now I am learning to um literally change my reality like as far as like whenever I'm feeling like I don't really like this I can literally change it and so I am literally doing that I just take some deep breaths and say I am in power here and I can deliberately change this and so I do. So you can go ahead and try that. And then also, um, what I want to talk about is uh, just really staying positive. It's really important to stay positive, and it's really important to not talk about other people and judge other people. And don't judge yourself now for doing that. It's just it's called an energy pendulum, and basically what happens is you kind of get on it. I used to call it. Um, uh, I didn't used to call it anything. It's just that's from a book. But my interpretation of it used to be a merry-go-round. I used to say I'm not going to get on that. Well, it's really actually a pendulum, which is just another form, another another label. But um, so if you notice yourself getting mad or frustrated or upset, notice that you know this could be just an energy pendulum that you've gotten kind of stuck on and you need to break away from inter intertwine yourself i know i mentioned that the day before yesterday i think my my video i talked about it more but yeah it's really um, important and if you notice it happens so um easy even if you're um awaken um it's really easy to get on there but <clears throat> it's also really easy to get out and know and be aware and once you're aware, it's kind of easier, even though those emotions still might come up, just be aware that um, you want to detangle yourself out of that. And um, yeah, just let it be. All right, let's move on to some affirmations. I'm actually repeating affirmations today. So anyways, so yeah, this one is, this too shall pass. So focus on what you want, not what you don't want. Because what do we put our energy to? We'll create more of. So if we put our creating, we put our energy into negative, then we're going to create more negative. If we always are saying negative things or oh this is always happening to me or this guess what then then the guess what the universe says okay yeah you're right it is so it just keeps the same thing keeps happening. That's why affirmations are so important. Um, but I think it's really important to do it in your words, in your time, in your like meditation time kind of whatever comes up for you and then it's it kind of I think it has more of depth for you so but this is also one of my favorites I'm always creating an abundant lifestyle full of plenty of everything with family love and fun thank you everyone and just everybody involved 
and then allow it to be everything's always working out for me enjoy the journey no matter what it be don't take life too seriously don't take life too seriously these are just some repeats that i i just felt an urge to kind of just throw out there because i read them every day um all like more than every day like i keep myself in check and aware of my emotions and aware of where I'm putting my energy and where I'm, you know, like just, I'm aware. And so I notice myself and I'll, you know, I'll catch myself and I'll be like, oh yeah, no, I cut ties to that, I cut ties to that pendulum. So um, I just highly suggest that you do the same. If, if you truly, truly want to change your reality, you really have to change your energy and where you're putting it and stay positive. And when you get pissed off and you get angry and you get emotional and you get upset, figure out where it's coming from. Is that your shit that you need to deal with? Excuse my language. Or is that just a pendulum that you've gotten caught on to? Um, you know what I mean? You have to kind of, because I know like I've gotten triggered and then you've got to deal with that trigger and why you got triggered. But sometimes I'm also learning that you can even be getting feeling somebody else's in, uh, energy. You could be on somebody else's pendulum. So anyways, <clears throat> just be aware of that. Be like, is this my shit? Do I need to deal with that? And if you do have some major issues that you need to deal with and you're super pissed off and you maybe you have some childhood things, that some bad things happening, that there's no way that you could believe in the laws of attraction because there's no way that you would have attracted that. But it could have been um, all kinds of sorts of things that, why that come about. Maybe you were feared and feared and that's why it happened. Maybe your parents were, were feared or but there could be all kinds of reasons. But in order to um, kind of get back into your self and get back and stand into your power, you may need to get some anger out. So um, you may need to kind of like take a baseball bat to the bed you know, just make sure everybody's gone or kind of and it's a private time for you. And you may need to just be like, gosh, you know, and just let it all out. Let all that anger out. And then kind of that is a nice a release. But instead of releasing out with a verbal attacks to other people or verbal attacks and judging other people, you kind of just get it out. And then it's just, you know, you didn't harm anybody or you didn't put any negative energy out there. You just kind of got it out. Poor bed, so it's time to bed. Please, sorry, please forgive me. <laughs> it's an energy too. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna do another affirmation because this one has been really awesome for me. I've been kind of using this on a daily, daily, and I love it. So I'm gonna share with you. I didn't. I write them on the back so I can read them, and it's really professional. I didn't do this one, but so I'll just read it like this. Dear God, channel through me the vibrations I need to be in order to live abundantly for eternity. Thank you. Amen. I love and appreciate all that we've already co-create. Help me keep it elevated. Co help ready co-created. Help me keep it elevated. As in help me keep my vibrations elevated. Help me stay true to me. Help me stand in my power. And that's basically what you're doing. Um, oh. Standing in your power. <laughs> Standing in your power means that um, you kind of forgive everybody for everything that's ever happened or that you've ever been in. And then you look at it as, an, as a blessing or a blessing or an experience. It may not be one that you chose at the time or, you know, think that you did or who knows what the case may be is. But we just got to look at this life as a game. We're playing a game. We basically put on a character. We pick this character just like we would if we were going to play a game. Um, I went that way because I'm probably going to play a game with my son after that. So we like we play, pay, we play a character, um, and then uh, you know, and then we pass away. We go backstage. We regroup up, put in a different costume, and we go into another life. It's kind of like that in a sense. So. I think um, I was reading a comment from somebody who was like, on, it was not online, it was on somebody else's, and he was just like, oh yeah, I create my, my own reality, yeah, like my daughter that's all um, on drugs and just put put my, uh, you know, my daughter's house on fire. <laughs> it was like the longest comment. I could, I had to stop reading it because I didn't want to put any energy. But I guess it just kind of, I could feel his, um, you know, I could feel like, his frustrations and everything and he really wanted to let him have it 
and um, because he, you know, he want, you always want to, I guess, blame people. So always when you find yourself blaming people, lame people, blame people. So lame people, blame people. So do not blame people, okay? If you did have something that happened when you were younger that was kind of horrifying to you and you're like wondering how that could affect the laws of attraction, don't even think about it in that sense. Don't even pay any more attention to it. As in, don't keep feeding that pendulum. Because when you're doing it, you're giving that energy, that episode, that certain thing that happened, that time and that moment, that energy that happened. Every time you keep repeating the story and telling everybody, well, it's a part of me. It's at 2 a.m. Well, is it? Is it really? Or do you just keep holding on to it to make it a part of you and make it who you are? Because it doesn't have to be who you are and who you part of you. There's so much more than what we are in this body, in this day, in this time. We're, we're so much more. We're so much more than just this. And so that's uh, basically what my channel is about is expanding your mind, expanding your horizons, getting past the hurt, getting past the things that were maybe traumatic to you. And maybe there's like, of course, um, some explanation, but the fact that you can stand in your power now, forgive that person and forgive them in a way in a sense that you know that they didn't mean to harm you and necessarily they didn't mean to hurt you it's just where they're at and what they're going through and so you have to forgive and you have to forgive yourself and that's another thing I want to bring up my cousin Carrie which I didn't get to ask I didn't mean to say her name but my cousin you guys don't know her but she always says that God can forgive me but I can't forgive myself and that just baffles me even though we I don't want to get into an argument with her but that just baffles me how can you not forgive yourself how can she keep going through life not forgiving yourself and think that it's going to be just this one it's going to be a wonderful thing it's just not you're going to keep punishing yourself because how can you not if you don't forgive yourself so forgive yourself for any mistakes that you've made forgive yourself for anything that you've done today or that you'll do tomorrow forgive yourself and know that hey it's a new day it's another day you know, I can make today different. I can make my energy today different. I can focus on the positive. And that's what I think the most important thing is focus on everything positive in your life. Forgive anything that's negative. Forgive anybody that's ever judged you. And forgive your judgments on anybody else. And that's one thing that's so important. Do not talk bad about other people. Do not judge other people. That is probably one of the worst things I think that we can do and we do it constantly that is the worst thing that we can do so do not judge yourself and do not judge others always what is it let them be perfect allow it to be let them be oh, everything's always working out for me enjoy the journey no matter where it be it seems like people go into these into these things and then all they do is judge other people and judge themselves and oh yeah what are you doing what have you been doing and then they don't even focus on the positive that's another thing that happened like um <clears throat> people go around that's another thing that really i noticed happened is you go around and instead of focusing on what positive things that people accomplished you're focused on well what are you doing right now like what did you do then and then, then the, the judgment come across and so that's a huge I think thing for all humanity um, is to stop judging other people. Stop judging other people. Even when you wake up and you're all wake from the speech, like, look at they're asleep. I mean, it's this. I I've seen it. I know. It's like, so you can't. You know, people may not want to wake up. They may not want to wake up, and that's why it's their choice. There, it's their choice. So if you want people to wake up, and you're like, you gotta wake up. You gotta wake up. No, it's their choice power of will they have their will so if they want to stay asleep and they want to stay on these pendulums and they want to do this and they want to do that it's their choice if you want to live a horrible life it's your choice so anyways i just want to say whenever you catch yourself with all the negative stuff going on in your mind or all the negative chatter that goes on in your mind um find ways to change it with affirmations with hypnotos find ways to uh, bring in positive and then catch yourself catch yourself and you're like oh that was a negative thought oh that was a negative vibration oh that was a poverty mindset that was a poverty mindset whenever you find yourself to I do it every day as in poverty mindset I still catch myself every day even when I have plenty of money I catch myself 
stressing and getting worried about it. And I want, I have to stop myself. I have to be aware. I was like, oh, that is a poverty mindset. That's going to take me down a poverty road. So a lacking road, a lacking mindset, poverty mindset, being worried about money. You can't make money and be worried about money at all the same time. It just doesn't happen. So you have to always feel like you have abundance. Because like I said, I've had plenty of money. I know you probably have too. Maybe as soon as you get your check and you start you start circulating the money out and what do you do? You start stressing about it because you because you don't want to go without. So then what it's just a spiral effect. And then what do we do? We're putting all that energy out there. And then guess what? The universe says, Yep, yep, you don't have shit. You're lacking. You're right, you're lacking. You're going in debt. You're screwed. It's just like a spiral effect. So you wanna nope, I have abundance. Nope, I have abundance. Nope, I'm in an abundant state of mind. I always have abundance all the time. And anyways, stay true to you. Stay powerful. Stay positive. Stay focused on you. Thank you so much. Show for spiritual wealth. See you next time.